hello everybody habibi here in this video i'm going to show you how to add mobile touch control for your uh, unity game if you want to use eddie's fakal physics eddie's fakal physics is a unity asset that you can purchase from unity asset store this is the link i will put the link on the description of this video but <coughs> this asset is if you use this asset you will know that this asset is not made for mobile game let me show you the one of the scene you can see here if I run the game if you run the game you can move your vehicle by using keyboard you can control the vehicle using arrow keys like this but you won't see touch screen controller to control this car if you want to make mobile games using this so if you are using this uh, you need the asset to make your mobile game you won't be able to publish it because you don't have mobile touch controller here what you can do is to follow this tutorial it is I hope a very easy tutorial to make a touch control UI controller uh, touch screen buttons and steering wheels for the vehicle so you can publish it for mobile games <coughs> alright first thing that I'm going to do is to create a UI canvas right click here UI and choose canvas I usually set it to scale with screen size then I'm talking about uh, forward and backward button I will add a button here this button I will place it here at the bottom right of the screen <coughs> and I'm going to delete the text inside it later you can change the sprite to the pedals image or anything you like let me set the size to be 62 by 62 <coughs> I place it here uh, somehow like this and I duplicate the button this one for forward and this one for backward <coughs> then we are going to create a script C sharp script and this script I will name it uh, what should I name it <coughs> forward backward you can name it anyhow you want you can name it any name <laughs> forward backward is funny I think it's fine let me edit it then what I'm going to do here to make it publicly accessible so I will type public static for forward backward instance and here on the start instance is this I need another uh, public variable public float and I name it vertical 
vertical means vertical axis of unity user input if you are using keyboard vertical axis is the up and arrow and down arrows up and down arrows here I'm going to add public void set FB set FB FB means forward backward and here I add uh, argument float uh, parameter float file value and then I will assign the value of file to vertical variable vertical this way and what is next is to add that script here for the power here inside the canvas drag and drop it here and then for this button forward and backward button you we need to add even event trigger I need not this one the event type we need pointer down and we need pointer up for pointer down we will call the function here for what set FB set FB we set it to uh, one Okay, and uh, this one for pointer up, we set we set uh, set FB to zero, and then we do the same thing here. Let's just cop copy this component, copy component, and paste it here. Paste component as new here for the pointer down we set it to negative one and then we check the car object in which is the edit vehicle object it is here this car has this script vehicle controller no 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 this one Fe uh, this one vehicle standard input okay we, we are going to edit this script you see this variable steering axis horizontal and throttle and brake axis vertical we are working on vertical axis right now so here whenever we whenever we have this variable here we are going to add its value to add it's follow with this one the script that we have made forward forward backward it is this script forward backward dot instance dot vertical and we copy this one and also edit here and so we paste it here but this one we need we add negative symbol now if we run the game let's run it We can try to use to use these buttons to move forward. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not add the. Uh, ignore it. <coughs> I forgot to add this. No, no. Sorry guys, something else happened here. 
let me check again vertical zero is not set up all right we need to do this uh, fixing let me stop it go to edit settings and input go to edit setting project settings and input there must be input tab here or uh, it is here in the preferences no where is input input manager yes input manager we need this vertical zero let's add vertical zero right now we have 18 size let's set it to 19 and here we name it vertical zero I don't know why do we need to do this but to solve this error we need to do it vertical zero vertical zero vertical zero. all right let's test it again <clears throat> vertical zero i have it here man oh where did i name vertical zero maybe i did not uh, press enter button vertical zero we have it here man let's play play it again okay we have vertical zero here no error no error message and let's click this button to go forward <sighs> sorry guys this must be yeah 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 I I miss type it here it shouldn't be here I need to control X to cut it it should be after this parenthesis I'm sorry that was a silly mistake guys mm, now let's try it again so we don't need that vertical zero thingy that was caused by my mistake so I'm going to remove the unnecessary input here vertical zero it is not not needed let's try it again guys <laughs> click this button you see that we are moving forward and if we click this button we can go backward yeah pretty easy right yeah and i'm sorry for this mistake guys that is for <coughs> vertical input moving forward and backward what about the steering steering left and right I'm going to use uh, touch screen steering wheel for this game so here I'm going to add a steering wheel that we can touch and move it or rotate it to steer the vehicle I think it is a nice idea to add a steering wheel go to my block 13 of my 13 and find the steering wheel I had this <clears throat> I think this one I had this script to create a, a steering wheel create a script with this name let me copy the name and we create a script and we call it steering wheel double click to edit it and 
select all the code here copy and paste it here select all and paste it save it now we have this steering wheel script obviously we need image object here inside this canvas I'm going to add an image here and I place it at, at the bottom left corner of the screen this is our steering wheel steering wheel we need to add the script the steering wheel here the canvas and here UI element we need the steering wheel to be placed here go here the script the steering wheel change the update to fixed update I think this one is, is better uncomment this debug log line so we can see the value of the steering wheel and let's try to run the game check out the console window we have the steering value 0 and let's try to rotate the steering wheel you see that the maximum value is 1 and if we rotate back till the end the maximum value is negative 1 minimum value and if we release it it will be back to this position zero yeah you know what I mean so how to assign the value of steering wheel so to the edit vehicle so we can control it we can steer the vehicle using the steering wheel we need to edit this script again vehicle standard input we are done with this vertical axis now we are working on horizontal axis which is this variable steer axis and this steer axis is here now because we are uh, because we not only use the keyboard because on because we want to use our virtual steering wheel we need to add the value of the steering wheel to make it work we need to make this script accessible from outside by creating by by typing this uh, public static steering wheel instance and instance here in the start instant equals this and I'm going to add another public variable float variable and this time I will name it horizontal hmm. and the horizontal value should be the value of this get clamped value horizontal, horizontal equals to get clamped value and we can comment this debug line now we can use the value of horizontal axis here here plus uh, steering wheel dot instance dot horizontal all right let's go back to our game and i hope we can completely control our vehicle using the touchscreen input okay let's go forward and go left go right 
What do you think, guys? Is it easy? Yes, it is very easy. And this uh, Unity asset, Eddie's Faker, this physics asset is very good, guys. Sixty dollars is worth it to make if you want to make a good fake game you can see the wheel rotation here the steering wheel it is nice okay guys thank you for watching this video I hope you like this video and see you soon bye bye bye